Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to have a look at some of the things that I've completed for November. Uh, we're halfway through November now, so I thought, yeah, we'll just have a quick look and see what I've got done uh, for your post reviews. The first little project that I completed that's not a picture is this, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And it says, I love love. So I think really this is more of a Valentine's um, or I love you or whatever than a Christmas one. But they have like got Christmassy hats on them and that does look really Christmassy. But uh, yeah, he's, they're really sweet. Really look at the little pink noses. I like the way that they've done like stripes and spots on different ones so that it all links together. Um, it was very few colours, but it still looks really, really stunning. So I'm really happy with that. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it was that these uh, little, see if I can get a close up, jump rings were really, really thin and really, really cheap. Is it focusing? Oh, excuse me, I'm just going to have to open the door because I've got a crying dog on my door. <laughs> yeah, we've still got Lottie staying with us and she does like to cry if she's shut out of anywhere. She also cries if she's shut in anywhere. But uh, yeah, so she's just come to join me. Uh, maybe she likes gnomes as well. <laughs> right, where was I? Okay, yeah, so these are very, very thin and very soft jump rings. I don't know if you can see the one that I've sort of like tried to uh, manipulate to... Uh, I don't know whether it's focusing, they're very fine. But yeah, I wasn't impressed with those. Even using my jewellery pliers, they were just really bending, really soft and going out of shape. So what I've done, I decided to put something a little bit more substantial there. And I've used some of my large jump rings um, that I had in my stash from my jewellery making days. So that has allowed me to, yeah, put a, a substantial chain on, shall we say. <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, I won't be even keeping those because they're, they're just not good. This is um, just as over the years I've collected uh, various jewellery making items and just pop them in here. Um, these are the jump rings that I got. I think I got them from uh, eBay quite a long time ago. Um, but yeah, they are metal. They look plastic, actually, but they are metal. And they're really nice, substantial quality, good for hanging things. So, you know, these aren't going to be going anywhere. So then the second one I did was the little Christmas gnome. I think quite a few people have done this. I think quite a few people have done this one. It's really sweet. I love the ABs on like the little flowers that they've got here. Look, they're all uh, an AB. So... But yeah, I just thought that was really, really sweet. And that one will be going up as well. Um, he's got a little present here. It does look a bit odd. These are his hands here. And I must admit, it does look odd. The hands not being um, diamond painted, not got any gems on. Doesn't look so bad sort of on this side and this side. But as you walk past this from a distance, it looks like you've missed a bit. So I may... Because this is really, really sticky. I may put some of this colour or I've got a very, very pale pink that's nearly sort of the white colour that uh, these hands are. I may just put some drills on that anyway. But yeah, these need sealing um, because, you know, they've just literally put the glue everywhere. And those hands are exceptionally sticky still. Um, and the edges are very sticky. Yeah, they've just literally put the um, glue uh, the stick of everything um, and then put the gems on so anywhere where there isn't any gems is very sticky so it needs sealing just to stop the fluff and everything getting onto there um, but I thought I would put my hangers on first because uh, well just because I wanted to and again I've used my uh, more substantial one they are quite large holes that they've put in these so, you know, the larger rings will fit through. And I just think that'll just make it a bit safer while it's on the, the wall. So that's number two done. And then I've done my little key rings. Uh, if you remember, these were really, really sticky. And they are double-sided, but I think they've come out really well. 
the, the detail does actually show up quite well. This one has got his little candy canes with his bow. And I'm really pleased with these. Again, very sticky on the bits on the edges, so they will need to be sealed. And actually, these didn't come with any jump rings whatsoever. So there was no way of attaching that to the keyring. And that little beaded chain keyring, whether that was supposed to go through, I don't know. But actually, the holes aren't big enough to put that through. I did try. Um, and then I thought, oh, this is ridiculous. Just go to your stash, Liz. Um, and I ended up putting the bigger chains on again because they're more substantial. The only trouble is they don't match the lobster claw. If you can see the colour's not quite, you know, the colour's not the same. So that's going to drive me nuts. So I may have to rethink that one, but that's what I've done so far. Um, and then this one. Again, I still think that's a little girl. I know it's a present that uh, it's holding, but it just makes it look like a dress to me. <laughs> so that's number two, all completely diamond painted. Um, again, they will need to be sealed. I think that's my favourite. I just think that was so funny. Um, I love the little bobbles on the hat and the little wreath just shows up so well, considering how small it is, it really does show up. So yeah, that's that one. And then we've got the one with the different coloured hat. And he's holding a present as well and his beard's right down to the floor. Look on that one. I like that one. And then a little bit different one because he's got a green and black striped hat. Oops. Is this one holding? I don't know whether that's a present or what it is really. It looks like just a really big bow. So yeah, that's... Uh, that one. so yeah quite pleased with those really enjoyed doing them uh just spent an evening i think i spent a, about an hour or so on that one an hour or so on that one and then yesterday evening um what i actually did i did one side um and then i left them uh for about an hour two hours so that the one side you know so that the drills would stick um just settle in place whether that makes a difference or not i don't know and then I did the other side, but I did find that leaving them for that space of time rather than turning them over and doing them straight away did seem to stop um, when I was doing the reverse side, did seem to stop the beads, uh, the drills from this side from moving. Um, there are some little stars, I don't know if you can see, see if I can get close enough up. Yeah, there are some little stars sort of there. Um, that I haven't got drills on and I think I'm going to go through my stash and see if I can just find some little stars to put on those just to make those stand out a bit more. I think one of the others has got stars on as well. I can't remember which one it was now but one of the other ones has got a star on and I thought yeah I'm just going to look through and see if I can find that star. So that's all the little uh, projects done. And then I've done four, they've just been special drill canvases so far. Um, I've shown you my be happy, all completed. So that's that one. As you can see now, they are really flattening out. I've been keeping them under something heavy. So that's that one. And then I've done my Christmas ones. And I love this one. I think if you saw my unboxing, you remember I was really uh, looking forward to doing this to see how that, would sparkle and look at the a b the different colors showing on that it's got a b coated um, like blue drills going around the edge of the box and then on the box we've got a little marquee and a little round and oh, it's not quite showing up but the sparkle on that is fantastic and then all his ribbon look that he's going to wrap it round with and i think even though you can't really see his eyes it's just by the way he's, he's sat there i think it's um he looks really pleased with himself <laughs> but i think even the little detail that we've just got um your silver gems at the top there which is just giving you the firelight over the top of his hat really pleased with these love the design and uh, yeah these are going to go up um in my little gnome corner i will uh, show you a photograph once i've got gnome corner done <clears throat> and then this was christmas Santa outside and again I was really pleased with this one look at that you know even down to the little detail of the larger gem in the middle of his little pom-pom there and then we've got one on the present on the bow 
and just round his hat. But I just think you can just see the expressions. They just really come to life once they've been diamond painted. Um, and again, it's got your blue gems. I think with these black ABs, I can't quite remember. But as I've said before with other uh, special drill projects, if these were actually um, black, I think it would take away from the picture. It does need that like blue, that AB, just to lift it, just to uh, give you an edge, just to make the edge sparkle a little bit more. But there is quite a lot of drills on that. You know, he's quite well and truly covered. But yeah, so that's my two Christmassy ones. And then finally, my other sunflower gnome with his little stars all around him. Yeah, I thought he, and he's just waving. He's a waving gnome. Let me just see there, look. To be honest, I think these look like slippers. <laughs> you know, those tartan slippers that you can get? Yeah, I think they look like slippers that he's wearing. But yeah, that's uh, my little gnome. So that's how far I've got so far on gnome And um, So thank you so much to uh, Angie Craftnado and uh, Mindy. Mindy's Diamond Moment for arranging November. It's been great fun. Um, I have to admit, I don't think I would have done um, any gnomes if it hadn't have been for the event. Uh, but now I have done them, I'm really, really pleased. Um, as one of my friends said, oh no, you've gone to the gnome dark side. <laughs> but yeah, it just seemed to be uh, all the shops and everywhere are full of gnomes this year. So. It's uh, very on trend, and that's very unlike me to be on trend. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing what I've done so far. If you have, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. That's the little button just down there. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see what's uh, next on the agenda, if you press that little subscribe button down in this corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. So... Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.